How's it going, guys? So, when I first started recording music a year ago, I came toward my most important tool would be my audio interface. The audio interface that I bought was the Focusrite Scarlett 4i4 third generation. Now, after doing lots of reading, I came to learn that a lot of other people use the Focusrite Scarlett series as their go-to audio interface. So, today I'm going to do a quick review and show you guys the features that the 4i4 has. Alright, so just a quick rundown of the front. You have two inputs that work as a combo because they could take XLR mail connectors or your microphone cables or they could take quarter inch jacks such as your guitar cables. Both inputs 1 and 2 have preamp gain knobs. And on the front you also have a monitor control knob. And on the far right you have your headphone jack and your headphone volume control. Alright, so looking at the back, you have line inputs 3 and 4. You have line outputs 1 to 4. You have MIDI in and MIDI out. USB connector, which goes to your computer, and a K-Lock. Alright, so now that I got the Focusrite plugged in, I'm going to tell you that all the changes you're about to see are happening through Focusrite Control. It's a program that you get when you purchase the Focusrite. It allows you to control your Focusrite as there's no physical buttons to change these settings. And you can do these through your computer, your laptop, even your phone. So right there, turning red, I just changed the inputs from accepting line signals into instrument signals. Turning orange is the air feature, which basically allows you to modify the frequencies to sound like a classic transformer-based microphone preamp. And the pad feature that's turning on basically reduces any incoming signal by 10 decibels for hot signals that might be going into your audio interface. Right there, I just turned on the 48 volt phantom power for your condenser or capacitor microphones if you have one plugged in. And right now, I'm changing the halo colors. Basically, the original halo colors let you know when you have a good signal coming in, your pre clip, and your clip. And folks right now actually allowed you to change it, and this was originally for colorblind people who couldn't see the colors red, orange, and green well. Right there, I'm changing the monitor, and basically, the monitor on the front only affects outputs one and two on the back. And the green on the top right basically means that your focus rate is plugged into a power source and working good. So on the back you have line inputs 3 and 4 that accept quarter inch TRS jacks. And these are used for balanced inputs with use of additional line level sources. You have your line outputs 1 to 4. Again, 1 and 2 are controlled by the monitor knob on the front. 3 and 4 are already fully set, but they can be changed through focus rate control. You have your 5 pin DIN MIDI jacks. And I didn't mention this, but if you do have MIDI data going into your focus right, there is a light that will turn on on the front of the focus right. You have your USB cable, and this is where you connect it into the focus right from your power source to operate and turn on the focus right. This is your K-Lock if you want to secure your focus right. And now I'm just going to show you basically what you can put it at the front of the focus right. Now, if there's any information that you did not cover or you want to know more, on the Focusrite website, there are user guides to all of the Focusrite Scarlet third generation and I believe second generation uh, audio interfaces that tell you everything about these audio interfaces. So I suggest if you want to know more, you're looking into buying one to check out the Focusrite website and look at the user guides to give you more information. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching.